bacon mac and cheese. So the ingredients we're going to have for today are macaroni and for the seasonings we have um, some ground black pepper. We also have sea salt and we have some minced garlic. For the liquids, we have eight ounces or one cup of water. We also have some olive oil. We have a half cup of milk. And we also have butter. The last two ingredients we're going to be using today are some cheddar cheese mild and some bacon while the macaroni is going to be boiling if you would like you can add the bacon and cut it up be sure to boil your water and while it is boiling, you can add your macaroni and be sure to stir. Always be sure to have adult supervision on hand so you make sure that you're not burnt or anything bad happens. After allowing your macaroni to cook for at least 7 to 8 minutes, your macaroni should be ready and it will be time to strain. Next, we're going to be making the cheese sauce. The first ingredient is going to be about four tablespoons of butter. It will brown very quickly, so you must be careful because this is going on high heat. The next ingredient we're going to be using is a little bit of garlic. Make sure an adult is present because this is very high heat and it's very easy for you to get burnt. The next ingredient we're going to be using now is milk. This is a half a cup of milk. Stir it immediately or else this milk will burn. The next ingredient we're going to be putting now is some sea salt. At this point, you should put your volume on low and add only a pinch of pepper inside. Now you can stir. Finally, after all these ingredients, you can add some of your cheese inside. Be sure to stir until all of your cheese is melted. Now, using a spoon, you can add a little of your mac and cheese at a time. And stir after adding at least two spoons. You can now add the rest of your mac and cheese. And stir. Remember to keep the volume on low because you don't want your sauce to be too dry. You still want to have some juice in your macaroni. While this is still cooking, you can close and you can prepare your bacon. Now we are going to add some oil to fry our bacon. 
You don't need to add too much because the bacon already has some of its own oil. Next, we're going to add the bacon and fry. Make sure you have adult supervision because this is really hot. It can fly everywhere. This is what your recipe will look like at the end from the box to plate. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please be sure to comment down below if you had tried it and what you think about it. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share with your friends. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.